live from the lab with Wild Child DNA right here on 66 Raw Radio. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Marcus here from the shop. And we are starting a new thing. We are calling it the Raw Cast according to our boss, actually. So we're going to introduce this guy. He's actually the boss, the CEO. DJ Wildchild DNA. Boss man. boss man. Boss man DNA. That's all I can. Hey, Massa. That's all what, I what else you want? What else you want, Massa? <laughs> He's a nation's nigga. He's nothing. The core like DJ. He's the core DNA. DJ. You know, the biggest mixtape DJ in the region of the DMV. He... No, I mean, do a lot. Okay. He's That's responsible for all your favorite <laughs> artists. You know Young Jeezy, Trey Song. He's the greatest ever, ever in life. Recognize me. There was God, and then there's him. <laughs> we got T here, cameraman. What's up? T, what up? What up, T? What's up? What's up? All right, man. So this is trial one. So we're going to call it the Raw Cast. And it's pretty much a hip hop podcast of a recap during the week, and we'll talk about other shit. So the biggest thing right now that's hip hop related is the Drake. And Joe Button beef, quote unquote, on that beef. Dina, what do you think about that so far? Uh, Joe Button's and uh, Drake. Yeah. Um. Joe's killing him right now. Joe's killing him right now. Teak, uh, what you think? Uh, yeah, he is killing him. That's fact. But Drake, he's so relevant. <laughs> he's still very relevant. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up <laughs> because. <laughs> DNA and I are here we go. Head, so we know Put what it's like. On. All right, battle rap, you got to respect the art of battle rap, right? Fuck but yeah. this, I actually said this, I did a recap or a review rather on the Joe Button and Drake or the Joe Button diss towards Drake, right? And I pretty much said it's going to go 50 50. You're going to have millennials and people around my age, if not younger, the 25 and under crowd talking about, yo, who the fuck is this guy? Drake shouldn't even respond. This is a waste of time. Joe is irrelevant. And then you got the hip-hop heads, the backpackers, the 25 and up crowd who think otherwise. Like, Drake just don't want it. But we can all fairly say that Joe killed him on that track because lyrically, Joe just got it. We can all equally say that, right? He, he's yeah. killing him thus far. All right. I will say that. He's killing um, him. Well, first of all, let's go back to what the fuck you just said. <laughs> What I said? <laughs> no, what I said. What said oh, you already put the Joe gloves on. Joe being relevant. Like, you already put the gloves on. I mean, Drake <laughs> being relevant. Like, if you're a hip hop head, old school, new school. If you're a hip hop head, how do you not know who Joe Buttons is? All right. Joe Button ain't a, a really old school, old school rapper. You know, he's been around for a while, but he's not an old school, old school rapper. And he's part of. He's one fourth of Slaughterhouse. Mm-hmm. So if you know, if you don't know Slaughterhouse, then you, you sh- you're not relevant to hip hop, even being to be even be a fan so like how how is he not how is they're not relevant like Just the term relevant we're talking about mainstream mainstream what relevancy oh you're talking about commercial commercial that's, that's relevancy I, I see what everyone's talking we, we about we don't care about that commercial shit this that's, is hip hop that's but what I said look, look, the, thing is, crowd, the thing is the backpackers are not gonna care the about thing no is, mainstream shit even though even though the commercial scene has the highest population of fans and they're gonna say well that's always been a case yeah. yeah but that's that's most of the opinion that's a higher population opinion i mean <laughs> you, you got millie vanilla and you got billy ocean i'm pretty sure you don't know who either one no, of these no i know we know who they are but that's i know that yeah, yeah, that's, 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 try, try more relevant example. that's older shit. My, my point is billy ocean was hot but <laughs> millie vanilla sold billions of records yeah you see what i'm saying like i mean we can we go back and forth that's like designer and then we got Chance the Rapper or whoever. Designer is obviously on top. No, Designer has one record. Designer has one record. He may have multiple records. No, Who he knows? has one record. Who knows? He okay. has other songs, but he has right, one better record. Better yet, let's pick Young Thug. Oh, God. He's got records. He got records. But he's not Chance the Rapper. He's nope. not these other rappers nope. who actually can spit, who have... Now, I don't want to say... I don't want to take the talent away from Young Thug because he doesn't have talent lyrically, but he makes pretty good music. You make a hook. He got a good hook. He got a good voice. He got, got a good melody. Melodies. Melodies. He's, melodies. He's got a good melody. He can sing his ass off. His cadence is pretty good. There you go. <laughs> but he, he's not going to be Chance the Rapper or whoever else is out that you can think of relevantly. Like, he's not like he's not so J. Cole. Hold he's up, not Kendrick. So, hold up. So, let's rewind this. So, right. Chance the Rapper is relevant, but Joe Button isn't. Yes. He is the hot rapper <laughs> yes. right now. I'm Where? Where? Where what? He where, just where, dropped where a new mixtape. Who cares? I've never heard of it. Chance the Rapper? Chance the Rapper? Chance, the, thing is, the, re- the reason why he's relevant is because everyone is talking about Chance the Rapper. Who? Everyone. Everybody. everybody. Yes, so you're, everyone. you're old head. You're old head. Look, 
I, I agree with what you said as far as Joe Budden not being relevant because he's with Slaughterhouse. They make music all the time. Yeah, They're just not awesome. relevant in the mainstream. Right. But he's never, uh, other than Pump It Up, Joe Budden has never been relevant in the mainstream outside of Love and Hip Hop. Joe Budden isn't a mainstream artist. And that's what people forget. That's what we're saying. He, he never has been. He's no Pump It Up is one. If Drake hadn't, hadn't gotten signed by Young Money, he wouldn't be a mainstream artist either. Probably not. It's the machine. It's the machine, but Joe was signed to Def Jam. But that and there's that an issue. Pump it That's up right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and after that After that, it was a wrap. He started making his own music. Right. I feel what you're saying. And but the thing is, I, I, I understand where both sides are coming from, but y'all do gotta understand that Joe is gonna be Joe. Like he still spits his ass off. As far as bars go, as far as the S to hip hop, yes, Drake does need to retaliate. But as far as money wise goes and it just being relevant. Mainstream hip-hop wise, it's not about the money side of it. It's about the lyrics. Let's take it back to the essence of hip hop. Go ahead. It's about the battle. Go ahead. Yeah. What art? What artist is hotter than the next, as far as lyrically? Right. That's what it's about. It's not about how much you fucking gross last year. But, but the whole just, game changed. Yeah, that's the game. What it, the that's game what it changed. Is now. I mean, that's, but that don't that the game changed to people who aren't really fans of hip hop. The game changed where it became more of a business. But as the fan of hip hop, you want to see that? You want to hear them bars? That's where the split is, because that's what I've been saying too. But I understand where they're coming from. If you want to blame somebody, I say you blame Jay Z, because Jay Z was the first to do that. There's been hella rappers who sent diss shots at Jay, and Jay just ignored it because you're not worth my time. That's pretty much what I think. That's what Drake is looking at as. Really, no, Drake should no, still no, reply, no, no, in my no, opinion. No, no. Drake. Is waiting to the prop for the proper time. <clears throat> Drake is not gonna let this shit go without saying. I I can't see Drake doing that. You think he's gonna send it back to back? It's not about Joe being relevant. Drake is like, it's too early for me to go. See, in. I was saying the same thing. I don't know if I agree with I was, that because oh fuck, I don't mean to cut you off, but you the same shit happened last summer. Drake sent a shot at Meek. Wasn't that strong? We waited what two days. Meek didn't say shit. So he but, came out with the back to back. But his response and was And then his immediate. whole thing was like, yo, I already gave you boys a couple days and where you at? His response was immediate last summer though. Right after Meeks? Meek No 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 fucking I'm um, sorry. Drake. Well, uh, so because his and, and, no. and, and to add to in you guys' defense, that would be because Meek was more relevant at that moment. Is that why? I, I mean guess. he's worth he's to more, reply to more, more mainstream. Like yeah. like look, it's like saying so if Meek dissed you with them, he has a bigger following. I'm pretty sure, and he pe- more people know him than Joe. So yeah, I okay. would say so. And if oh, a yeah. more renowned person disses you, you're gonna have it's gonna be a bigger impact rather than if Joe Button or somebody with a lower following disses you. I don't think it's gonna be that big because it's just the amount of people you, he, they it's, touch. It's small crumbs. That's what they're looking at as. Like I'm not looking at you like that. Like you're wasting my time. Uh, man, Plus, a lot of people don't know where it came from either. I'm f- I'm from the. Uh... I'm from the school of a man got to be a man. If a motherfucker going to try to take a bite out your sandwich, you got to put that motherfucker ass. And that's hip hop. I, I completely that's fuck. Hip-hop. That's hip hop. But I, go ahead. Take, I completely ahead. fucking agree with you. I do. I, I used to say, I was about to say before I even, I talked to Marcus about this earlier. I was like, yeah, Drake shouldn't reply to him and all this stuff. But now, like. He's 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 just like throwing salt in all his open cuts on all the Drake's open cuts. He has nothing but to do but to reply. Like really, he he needs to. I agree with you on that. That's one thing I do. But honestly, where the game is now because of fans and stands and dick rod. I don't even call them dick riders honestly because <laughs> that 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 word is so is thrown so loosely. But because of fans and stands and everyone who just quote unquote fans of hip hop, if Drake just does not reply, it's gonna blow over unless. Joe was just on him for months on end, and then people are going to laugh at Joe more often because it's like, yo, you I, still on this? You know, you know what? I hope Joe Button pulls a 50 cent and keeps going, <clears throat> just like what 50 did to Ja. Game did that too. But you saw what happened to that shit. That shit got old. With what? Game and what? 50. Yeah, but. And you saw 50 never. 50 and G Unit replied, but they didn't carry it on for years. Like, Game still brings up G Unit to this day. Like on documentary two point five. That, that's Chuck. That's game. Like he, he, just, he just likes dropping names. That's just something he does. That's part of his okay. thing. Right. That's part of his thing. But how fifty ended Ja was because he kept going. Kept going. So you think Joe can end Drake? 
I don't think he can uh, end Drake's career, but I think as far as Drake's uh, hip hop respect, yeah. He definitely can. Well, Drake already took a hit on his hip hop respect with the whole allegations of him not writing his own bars. But think about it. Did, yeah, did that really he, affect but, him? But then he can't. Yeah, but then he came back with back to back. And you see, know that's he the, wrote that shit. But see, here's the, back the to thing. Back was sick. Here's the thing. Like, which, which, what did you say too? I said, did that really affect him though? We everyone thought it would. Affect so him, it affect jo- him how? The uh, Drake and he's the, actually the going success. off of what you said because you're the saying success. did it did it affect him at all? Like that. It, it, that's what I'm saying. It's not going to affect his success. But as far yeah, as his credibility, hip, his credibility, yeah, because it, it did affect him. Because I hear hip hop cast talking about when you mentioned Drake, oh, that nigga don't write, write his own shit, All right? And I'm like, uh, y'all must be talking about a different Drake, because yeah, he helps out with writing songs, but he get he might get help with writing songs here and there. But as far as lyrics, bar for bar, mm. yeah, I can't see nobody writing some of the shit that Drake comes up with. No, I mean, no, and, no one's and, taking away his and, talent. And that's that's coming from somebody who's listened to Drake since Drake first came out, the underground Drake before he got yeah. signed, signed mm-hmm. to Young Money. Like he's always been lyrical. So what he had Ghostwriters before anybody knew who he was. No, of course not. Nah, that, he picked that shit up. Right. And the shit that you're saying he got the Ghostwriter for is like some commercial shit. That's what I think too. I've been kind of saying it to myself. I was like, I, I feel like the people who write his shit. Right. Or, or the, the songs they get they get written by yeah. other people or his or his radio hits. Yeah, and his people want to get his team, singy songy like, songs. Yeah, people need help with hooks. Hits. Mm-hmm. That's this song making. That's not. That's not. People did say that. I mean, Meek did say the one track that he wrote on Meek's verse or Meek song Rico. was written by somebody. Was it was Rico? Right. That's just a fucking commercial record. It's a commercial record. Was it? Yeah. I don't remember. That was last summer. I didn't listen to Meek. I mean, behind last behind year. Uh, had, had Meek not instigated that beef. That would probably have been the biggest record on Meek's album. It probably would have because it had Drake on there. And but I feel like he felt sure. didn't he feel like somewhat disrespected too because it's like yo you need to write your own shit on my song. Yeah, that was some dumb shit. Fuck up. His he should have just kept sales. his mouth fucking. Shut <laughs> he the should the fuck really should have. Really shut should've. the fuck up and get your check. Because it, it was the same. The same thing was proven on the YG song too, wasn't it? Somebody else wrote it. it was what's his face? The dude that got jumped what, by three dresses. Quentin Miller. Yeah. Quentin then Miller. somebody then then he write that that track too, that verse. Which one the YG? Oh, I ain't know, I ain't hear about that one. That's what I heard. Party I, I next think door. So. I know I think Party so. Next Door uh, wrote Legend. Party Legend. Mm. Off that mixtape. Well, I mean, I like pretty much what you were just saying, he did not take a hit. He somewhat did cuz like what DNA was talking about, a lot of hip hop heads aren't respect, respecting him for that reason. But I feel like the same thing is going to happen. Doesn't matter how many times DNA or not DNA, <laughs> DNA get a Drake. How many times Joe Bunn gets that Drake? I'm pretty sure he's still going to have his fans. It's going to get played out. It's going to get played out because a lot of his fans aren't the quote unquote hip hop heads. They're the pop there, heads. There's, there's like you know? a half. Hip hop heads are in the minority. Yes, man, man. and when it comes to Drake's music, the hip hop heads are in the yeah. minority. He has. The fan base, he has respect, but he lost respect because of that. And he may lose respect more if he doesn't respond to Joe. So I'm, I I think he should respond, honestly, for the sake of hip-hop. Because but it's, it's, career, it's not entertaining. In, a, in, in, in but, any type of danger. Right, I, exactly. He doesn't need to. He does not need to he at all. Not. Because he's still going to have all his fans. His albums are still going to go platinum or gold or whatever they do. Regardless if he responds. But as a fan of hip-hop and just want to see some entertainment, he should. Hell yeah, you should. It's all reputation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all reputation. Exactly. It's all reputation. I care about the bars. We, we get that. We understand. <laughs> we get that. But I care about this hip-hop shit. Right. That's what I breathe. I don't give a fuck how many. What you selling going to make me shit. 